Hi, this is Kent Sanders from The Artist's Suitcase at artistsuitcase.com, and I want to walk you through a few details about how to set up your Evernote notebooks. I'm on a Mac running the latest version of Evernote. You notice on the left-hand panel of the desktop version of Evernote, you have several things. You have your shortcuts here. You can set those up for specific notebooks, or specific notes, rather. You have your recent notes. You have the notes button, which is going to show you uh, that's going to take you to a view where you can view, you know, like all of your notes if you have lots of them, or the notes in a specific notebook. Or you can hit this button called Notebooks, and this is going to show you the different notebooks that you have. Now, Evernote is built on the concept of notebooks, and a notebook is simply a collection of notes. For instance, if I go to this notebook called Books to Read right here, this is going to show me all the notes that I've put within that notebook, and then I can click any one of these, and these are specific or individual notes. Okay, now you can put a bunch of notebooks together and you can create what's called a stack of notebooks. So if I go back to this notebooks view, you'll notice that each one of these represents a notebook. General, Guitar Lessons, HCC Troy, Imported Items to File, Imports, MCC, and so on. Those are notebooks and each of these notebooks is a collection of notes. Right here you have listed how many notes are in each notebook. However, you can put a bunch of notebooks together and create a stack of notebooks. So if I double click on, let's say, business, that's going to expand and show me there are probably 25 notebooks or so in this stack of notebooks. Now each notebook has to have a unique name. For instance, blog, blog action, books, classics, coaching. Those are all names for notebooks within my system and no other notebook can have that same name. And the reason is that will become clear when I do a, a video on how to use email to send email to specific notebooks. But for the time being just know that you can't name a stack of notebooks or a specific notebook something else uh, that another notebook has. If that makes sense. So I can collapse that. I can expand seminary here. Not much in there. I can expand SLCC. Can expand SLCC student notebooks or personal or whatever. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, one question that a lot of people have, and this is a point of stress for a lot of people, is how many notebooks should I set up? Should I set up a whole bunch of them? You know, is this like a Windows or Mac file system where you can have like thousands of thousands of nested files? And so that becomes stressful for people because it doesn't feel like it's really helping because it just feels like you're duplicating something that you already have set up on your computer. Here's the deal with Evernote notebooks is that you can only have two levels. You have the main level, for instance, books to read is one notebook, and then you can have a stack of notebooks, and you see these are nested, 60 second blog, blog action books, etc. These are nested within the stack called business. In fact, I have, sorry, let me collapse that. Uh, for instance, uh, I thought I had one named as a stack. I guess I don't. But uh, like this, uh, personal is a stack of notebooks. And it, within that, I have individual notebooks. Okay, and each of these notebooks has lots of different notes in them. And so the question is, how many notebooks should you set up? Well, and that depends on the person. There's no you know set number or or anything like that. It really just depends on your needs. Really, the main principle when setting up your notebooks is really I would say a couple of things. Number one is remember what's called the Goldilocks principle. You don't want to have too many notebooks. You know, you don't want to have like a hundred different notebooks, I guess, unless you were really, really detailed. But if you have too many notebooks, it's going to become too stressful and you're going to have to keep track of all those and it's probably not going to serve you well when you start out using Evernote. Now within each of these stacks, or within some of these stacks rather, I have, you know, 20 or 25 different notebooks. That's because I've been using Evernote for a few years and I have probably four or five thousand total notes in here. And so, you know, for business, for instance, I've split these up into different notebooks, you know, coaching, um, focus, general business, general writing, guest posts, Kindle, launch manifesto, etc. And I have lots of notes within each one of those. Okay, but this is only because I've been using Evernote a while. Same thing with personal SLCC. But the other ones like, so let's say, worship or... Uh, movies, you know, that doesn't have that many in them. But you have to set up according to what your needs are, if that makes sense. Okay, again, when you first start out using Evernote, don't create a whole bunch of notebooks and stress yourself out about it. 
just create a few notebooks divided into several key areas. For instance, you might want to have one for business, for personal, for uh, you know, for work or for church or whatever. And then as you put more notes into Evernote, then you can begin expanding those into different notebooks to really better meet your needs. So if you have too many notebooks, it's going to become really kind of too stressful and you're going to wonder, well, should I file on this one or this one? But if you have too few notebooks, then the longer that you use Evernote, you're going to have, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of notes within just a few file, uh, within a few notebooks, and that's not really going to be helpful. So split them up according to how it makes sense to you. And again, the Goldilocks rule is what you want to pay attention to, which is not too many notebooks, not too few notebooks. Now let me show you one more thing here. Uh, if you go to the notebooks view, you can create a new notebook by going up to file, new notebook. Let's say if, if I want to do that, I would create a synchronized notebook because I want it to be available on other devices and on the web. Okay, that's going to create a new notebook and I can name it whatever. I'll name it new notebook. Okay, so that's the name new notebook. Now, if I wanted to make that uh, if I wanted to put that in a stack, let's say if I wanted to put it in business, I would go to New Notebook here, and I would drag that just anywhere in the business one, in the business stack, and it's going to be alphabetically filed in the business stack, which is pretty cool. Or if I want to, I can drag it out of there into an empty space, and it's going to be its own separate notebook again. Hopefully that makes sense. And up here, you'll see that you can view these notebooks and stacks of notebooks by the owner, of course, that's me, by the name, by the count, how many notes are in there, or by updated as well. And you can also expand these if you want to look at them that way. I don't really look at my notebooks uh, in this fashion very often, but you can sort those around if you need to. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, that's how I think of notebooks and stacks of notebooks. Again, the Goldilocks principle is what you want to follow. Not too many notebooks, not too few notebooks. Start out with a few, but then as you use Evernote more and as your use of Evernote grows, then you'll be able to really uh, fine tune your folder names and how you arrange things. I haven't changed my folder setup in probably a couple of years. So once I got it set, then I just I just keep fine tuning it and adding things and sometimes taking things away, you know, if I delete notes and things like that. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that. Um, helps you to see how to set up your notebooks in Evernote.